like 7.45 in the morning and I just got up. I haven't even had my coffee yet. I was exhausted yesterday. It was an exhausting day. And um, If you don't follow us on Instagram, then you wouldn't know, but we lost our first cow yesterday. So it was just an emotional day. But Anyways, I wanted to get up early this morning. I could get these planted because we've got some pretty strong wind coming this afternoon, followed by um, possible storms. So, so I ordered these from Pence Nursery in Arkansas, and I got a lot. But mommy, let's see if I can this open. These are all of our raspberry plants as well as our um, I ordered some currants and some blue, blue, uh, gooseberries. This box looks like the fall raspberries. Let me, let me turn you around so you can see more at least to show you. This is why I should not film before I've had my coffee. I just unboxed this whole thing for you and it wasn't even recording. I took a picture. <laughs> Anyways, um, didn't really miss anything exciting, but um, I just got all these opened. These are all of our um, raspberry plants as well as our my currants and the gooseberries. So on our blackberry, or not blackberries, I didn't order any blackberries because um, we have all the blackberries that I have from the Missouri Department of Conservation. I paid 40 cents each for them. <coughs> and they were bare root, and that's actually what I have used for our living fence um, on the perimeter of the garden. So if you go back, it's not very um, many videos. Again, I'll try to link it, but, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you can see the blackberry living fence that we've got going on and I do have another 25 coming so we can do another row or potentially do the two other sides and then one side I'm gonna leave open I think so um, or plant something else that binds as a um, as a fence but anyways that's why I didn't order any blackberries but is also why my um, we ended up putting the are putting the berry patch over here on the other side of the house because um, sometimes raspberries can get diseases from the wild wild blackberries. So, anyways, I've got all of these opened and I'm getting ready to open the apple trees and then we'll get to planting. So, and if you were wondering, I did order these from Pence Nursery in Mountain Berg, Arkansas. I had saw a video from Shalom Acres, and they had ordered theirs from um, Pence Nursery and gave them really good, I mean, they really recommended them. So I hopped on that, and I was really, really um, pleased with the cost of them. They were about $2.50 each, and I think I ordered like 25 raspberry plants, but... Um, that's okay. I mean, you can't beat that price. So, um, also, another cool thing, you can order single plants. And I haven't seen that anywhere. I had shopped around a lot, um, trying to decide on where I wanted to order the raspberry plants. And I had thought of, I was going to order them from Stark, actually, because um, I was already ordering the apple trees. But <clears throat> after I found hence I couldn't help it so I went ahead and ordered from them and they do have a lot of varieties I still need to order um, the purple royalty raspberry as well as the double gold raspberry because I do want to have um, a large variety of different raspberry plants so anyways we'll get to planting and I'll bring you guys back whenever we um, start digging so
got done planting the <coughs> all of the raspberries and I think I four or five different times. Sorry if you guys can't hear me. The wind's horrible. Um, that's why we were trying to eat. But we did get all of the raspberries planted and I had also ordered some uh, pixie gooseberries, another variety of gooseberries, three different varieties. But we did end up having to put another row here in the berry patch area because we just had too many for the two rows um, for the two rows that we started off with. So we do need to go ahead and mulch around um, the other row because I hadn't planned for another row. But we've got to run to town to get some stuff. So I'll do that whenever we get back. Um, but anyways, I'm going to turn around so you can see what all we've done. So starting over here, um, I don't know if you can see, they're, they are bare root, so they look like, look like little sticks coming out of the ground, but they do have, I was pretty surprised, some of them have some really, really nice root systems on them. So really happy with the plants so far that we ordered from Pence. But um, we've got one whole row right here, and then one whole row. So this whole row and then this whole row are all, um, raspberries except for down here there is uh, two two of the gooseberries and then on the front row it's got three of the, all three of the currants the honeyberries we're going to be planting around back by the garden area so <coughs> um, but yeah anyways um, I think let me see we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twenty like 26 raspberry plants <coughs> and that's going to be plenty a matter of fact that may have that's probably too many but um this way in case something you know weird were to happen and we did lose a couple then we're not gonna i mean it's not gonna be a big deal we're still gonna have um plenty of raspberries so i'm really excited um the different varieties i i mean i got let's see here i know i got boyne these are, I think I got six Heritage, six Latham, um, two or three, two Killarney, two Caroline, and I think I got seven of the Anne yellow or golden raspberries, and I'm really excited about those. So the Anne are back here along the back, and I really want to um, possibly get not get more but you know harvest the new the new plants that they sent out and possibly extend out even another row so I just really like the the golden raspberries so anyways I'm gonna wrap this up I'll walk you down here real quick and show you the other plants that we got this is a white imperial current um, and it's got some I mean it's already got some little leaves on it so that's one of the currants this one right here is a red lake current so those are actually white they're white currants these are red currants and then this one it's a crandall I believe this one is a black current I may be mistaken I'll have to look at that but um I don't know we'll see this one right here so this one right here is an Oregon gooseberry. So, and it looks like it's got some, I mean, it's already got some stuff growing too. And then this one back here, this is the Pixie Well. And I didn't know, but this thing's got some monster, some monster um, thorns on it. So I wasn't expecting that, but, oh well, that's okay. Maybe that'll keep the critters from eating it but um so yeah uh we just this ended up taking us about probably an hour and a half to get um all of these planted but um i'm really happy with that we need to go through and water everything in that way because they were shipped so um the roots were just a little bit dry 
not bad, you know, I mean, it was still moist, but they just need to be watered in, so I we'll do that, and down, and then we'll, I don't know, I don't know what we're going to do today, I guess we'll find out, but today's fine, I guess I'm sorry if you can hear me, the wind is ridiculous, so, anyways, I'll keep you guys posted on, oh, let me go show you the apple trees real quick. My husband did this. I didn't get a chance to record because I was recording the raspberries, but um, these are from Stark. These are the two. This one is the Stark Spur Red Rum Beauty Semi Dwarf. So it's like a it's like a really long stick, um, but I'm really excited about this one. I read the reviews and it had some pretty great reviews. So it's about you know maybe three feet, three and a half feet tall, <coughs> and then. This this one's got a little bit more, I think it looks a little bit better, but this one is the Stark Golden Delicious Apple, which is also a semi-dwarf. So I did end up going with semi-dwarf trees because I wanted to have a decent harvest, you know. So this one, I've got, we've got these two planted and sorry, no footage of that, but it is what it is. So. Now I'll let you guys go, but um, I just want to show you those apple trees real quick. I'm really excited about these, which, yeah, it's going to take us a couple years to um, get a couple heart, you know, get any kind of harvest on them, but that's okay. The sooner we get them in the ground, the better. So, anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye.